Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. Remember, if it's your first time to come across this channel, support this channel by subscribing. By the way, do not forget to hit on the notification bell because you'll always be updated when we upload a new video. In today's video, we are going to look at a question that has been asked so many times, and that is regarding about the contract, regarding the contracts. Yes, we look at contracts in the Gulf countries. We look at contracts in Qatar. We look at contracts in UAE. We look at contracts in Oman. We look at contracts in Jordan, uh, Saudi Arabia. Let's say in the Gulf states itself, the all contracts. Because when you are given a piece, when you're being sponsored, work sponsorship, they there must exist what you call a mutual agreement between you, the employee, and the employer. And that mutual agreement that is going to exist has to be governed by what you call a written document and that written document between you the employee and the employer is what we call a contract normally what we call a contract it can be for a specified period of time sometimes it can be an open it op open ended contract depending on how how definitely you have to negotiate and what are the terms that are being given to you as they are recruiting you or when they're giving you that job. In today's video, we are going to look at the differences between the two and that is what we call the limited contract and the unlimited contract. Remember, when we talk about these two terms, what we call the limited contract and the unlimited contract, yes, contractually speaking, these are two different terms, although they both do the same work or they although both of them are being signed by what you call an employee and what we call um the employer and also we shall look at a situation we shall look at another another similarity that both of them have what you call a start and end period in whatever depending on what kind of situation a limited contract what we call a limited contract a limited contract is that contract that is given or it is what you call a fixed term contract it has what you call a start date and it has uh, what you call an end date. What does it mean? Most of these contracts, for some of you that have been receiving these contracts, you will see a contract that says it is every or it is for two years. Meaning that the day you sign that contract is going to be the commencement date. It is going to be the start date of that contract. Then the day your two years expire, from the start of the date that you sign is going to be what you call your end date. For that period that may go beyond that, that has to be what you call a mutual agreement between you and the employer to see that you can you can extend that the validity of that contract depending on the nature of the position and depending on what kind of need or what kind of a need that employer needs for what kind of qualities or uh, the duration of the time you want to stay on that period and normally uh, normally when you see different gulf countries have different types of contract duration the limited go to our contract durations we look at the dubai before had a contract duration of uh, three years but we look at the new visa, visa uh, the new visa system it has been extended it's going to be extended converted back to two years in qatar we have what we call two years it's remember in qatar it's only the limited contract is normally for two years and what does it mean meaning that your residence visa or your residence permit what you call the cut ID will always be renewed every after one year so that you can cover up what you call the limited contract of two years and that is what it is it has a start date and it has what you call an end date under what you call a limited contract and anything beyond that once the contract is being reached, it's between the agreement between you, the employee, and the employer to see that you can extend that contract if at all you feel you still want to continue with that company. Then, in number number two, we look at what you call the unlimited contract. Remember, for this kind of contract, what you call unlimited contract, that means you are working for your employer with the un indefinite date all right you work with the employer for a period that is not specified but remember here in Qatar for such kind of unlimited contract normally runs for what you call five years so meaning that 
between the five years, between, the, 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 between that indefinite period that you are running that contract, the decision for you to terminate the contract, it's just going to be the decision, it's going to be an understanding between you, the employee, and the employer himself to see that you can terminate that contract. And what governs that, the, the, the only difference that governs uh, the in the, what you call the unlimited contract that before you get to terminate or before your employer has to terminate you or before you the employee want to resign or to terminate that contract you need to give what you call a notice period and that notice period has to be from one month to two months depending on what you call the labor laws in that country and when you look at in Qatar for example for such kind of contrast for Qatar it is that when you want to resign and you've completed with a company for one year, you have to give a 30 days notice period. And if you want to resign with a particular company and your period has existed, existed uh, 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 has gone beyond what you call one year, then you have to give a notice period, which is a two months notice period that you're supposed to serve with that company. So meaning that at that time, you can either you can either terminate or the employer can terminate the contract or you can terminate the contract depending on the, what kind of contractual agreement that comes between the two of you. Remember, something that you, 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 you need to understand that for, for, for your termination or for your resigning, it can be brought about by different reasons or it can be uh, things that may uh, breaches that may be agreed upon that are not are not followed and you may wish to terminate the contract something still you you have to understand uh it's that can i resign can i resign under the limited uh, unlimited contract yes you have the right to resign remember this is a mutual agreement as much as it's an indefinite time that you're supposed to serve your employer it is you can de decide to terminate that contract if you worked for that for 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 your employer for one year because you have the right and he has the right to terminate or you have the right to terminate but however something that i told you that you should get noted or you something that you should note is that you have to give what a notice period so if you are going to resign before that contract comes to an end and it is between that period that means you need to give that employer what you call a notice period hope i've tried to share up something for you very well thank you so much for coming back to this channel it's mix from the next creation if it's your first time to come across this channel remember consider subscribing to this channel it's the only way that you 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 you'll get updated uh, or you'll get the most uh, uploaded videos on this channel thank you so much again again it's mix mix creation